outfit of the day wearing some slacks this pink button up i got from old navy didn't do much with my face i just did mascara um so i'm kind of too lazy and in between testing like complexion products but today is my first day of my internship and i woke up at 6 30. hi guys so after my first day of my internship i came back and i ate lunch and then i swiffered everything don't mind me i'm not wearing pants but i also vacuumed the bedroom and the living room i cleaned all of this swiffered just vacuumed vacuumed this room and swiffered all like the kitchen and stuff so i'm tired now i'm gonna do some work for my internship I need some tackies I'm eating dinner, lemon chicken and rice and broccoli. Hi, outfit of the day, second day of my internship. I'm wearing this yellow button up, same pants, still my kids because I got nothing else to wear. Of the day, wearing this pattern blouse, some gray pants and my kids, which aren't on right now, but you know. So I got boba. I actually didn't get any like boba in this, but I went to get seven leaves because I was really craving this. Someone just beeped really loudly. I thought they were mad at me because I wasn't leaving, but like, what the fuck? Anyways, I was talking to some interns today and we were talking about seven leaves and I just really, really wanted mung bean now because like this is like my favorite drink there. I've honestly never tried any other drink there, but I love mung bean, so I got it. And Julie actually gave me like a gift card for my birthday and I haven't used it when she gave it to me because I just like haven't been able to go to Seven Leaves and then today I remembered it that I wanted this drink. So here I am getting this drink. Um, I forgot to ask for less ice because I like since it's been so long since I've had that gift card I wasn't sure if they would take it or not. I was more concerned if they would take it or not rather than like remembering to ask for less ice but usually I get less ice so it doesn't like water down my drink but... I treated myself and I feel guilty but at least I didn't have to pay for it. These are so good. These are my favorite m and Out of all the flavors that they have, the caramel ones are my favorite ones but I'm really just treating myself today. First I got some of these. Now I'm eating as well technically. Nick is treating me because he got me these. They're so good. Hey, outfit of the day. Wearing these gray, like, striped pants. Um, blue shirt I got from Old Navy, like, a while ago. Hi, outfit of the day. It is the afternoon. I've gotten back from my internship. And now I'm heading out to the grocery store. I'm going to H Mart. So, wearing... <clears throat> a cold shoulder top, which like I feel like I haven't worn in a while, and some green shorts. Gonna throw on some flip flops because I don't want to wear shoes. Hi guys, I was just at H Mart. Now I'm going to Rouse because I just need like two more things. I just want to get like some cereal and I think some like vegetables. But I went to H Mart. Didn't spend a lot actually. The most expensive thing was dragon fruit. So that kind of like upped my price, my grocery spending for the week, but it's because it's grapefruit, you know? Guys, I don't know what it is, but this Ralph's like smells really good. Like I think it just smells like fresh bakery, like baked goods. It smells really good. I'm into it. Hi! Hello! A grocery haul um, that no one asked for. It. No one asked for this, but here I am. First step, we got some firm tofu. This was on sale; it was only a dollar, and I've never tried this brand, so I usually get medium firm, but they didn't have medium firm. Next, we have bone-in chicken thighs. Yum. And then I got some thinly sliced bulgogi pork. Got my Fruit Loops. Got some dragon 
and fruit. Broccoli, because I always eat broccoli. It's literally like the only vegetable I eat on a regular basis. Some frozen corn and a cucumber. Well, making dinner right now. Gonna have some green noodle with some corn and some fried egg. Okay, the water is like bubbling. So I put in the noodles, and now that just cooks for like three minutes. And then I'm gonna microwave some corn and then fry the egg after that's done. Hi, outfit of the day, wearing this crop top because I just felt like it, and some like bluish striped shorts from Hollister. <clears throat> so I made some pork. It's supposed to be similar to tikka, which is kind of like braised pork belly I think yeah but instead of pork belly my mom like modified the recipe to go with thinner pork cuts because it kind of just tastes a little bit better because pork belly sometimes like has like that strip <coughs> of fat that's like not always ideal or the tastiest so and like thinner cuts of meat are generally a little bit softer so I did this and it tastes similar it's pretty close but it's definitely like a work in progress that I just have to figure out, but basically what you do is you put like some sugar in a pot and you wait for that to caramelize. I think like the key component that I'm missing is that I didn't caramelize properly enough. So like this is supposed to be like a lot darker and like more brown. So caramelize and then you add your meats and cook it. And then my mom found this thing, this sauce, this that you can add. <clears throat> That's similar to like the one that my mom makes, like just kind of like from scratch, but this is like already pre-mixed and it tastes pretty similar. So I use this just to make my life easier. And then you add the sauce and you add some water because the sauce is pretty like intense and like not salty, but it's just a lot of like flavor for just like a little bit. So you add some water so it's not too salty. And this is the result. I just like drained everything. Um, it's pretty good. I would definitely eat it, but it's like a work in progress if I want to make it anything like the actual dish. Okay, so here's the pork from earlier. Made some tofu for later, and I made an egg sandwich and added some pork from earlier just like for some visual interest with the side of cukes. Hi, I'm in Ross, trying to find clothes to wear to my internship, and these is one of the shirts I picked up. I really like the color, but I feel like it's a little too big, like baggy-wise. It's okay but especially like the collar area seems too big that it looks a little awkward but i like the color and the feel of the fabric is really cool it's kind of like this woven texture the buttons are cute it's a nice detail okay, this top i kind of picked off just for fun this pendant is removable which is why i don't care for it because i probably would take it off but it's kind of cute i like the color it's kind of an elastic at the bottom. The sleeves are really cool. Just not sure if it would work for my internship, but I feel like I would wear it, so I'm debating this one. This one I picked up just to try it. It's a little biggish, I think, on me, but I just picked it up because we have like Hawaiian shirt Friday, so I thought this could be my Hawaiian shirt, but I think it's too loud, even just like for a general taste. This one, I really like. I like the color. I like the fit of it. It's definitely like a little bit like more business-like for my internship, but the only thing is like it's really see-through. You can see like my bra through this, so I'm gonna have to pass. This shirt is super cute. I really like the color and like the print. It's a little see-through. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it'll show through a little bit, but I feel like if I wear a nude bra, it's not too bad. And since it's like a pattern shirt, I feel like I can get away with it a little bit more. Um, I feel like this is like not a bad shirt to wear to my internship. The only thing is like I'm iffy about is like this shirt tie. Like it's supposed to be there. Like it was designed that way and usually like when I go for button-ups for my internship I try to find button-ups that I could wear like also as a jacket so that way I can wear it like outside of interning and it's not just like a complete waste of money I can wear like multiple ways so this one I'm not sure about I don't know if I'd wear it just like on its own like this out too but it's really cute I really like the pattern it's so cute I love the color hmm. 
Okay, this one is like completely random. I just picked this up because I thought it was kind of whack, kind of funky, kind of like it. It's this denim jacket by Levi's. MSRP, the value is $128, but it's only $23 here. I don't know. I kind of really, really like it. I feel like this would look really cute with like a romper or like a dress or just like like another pair of jeans and a crop top would look really cute. I really like that it's a crop silhouette. I like the wash of the because it's not like it's a dark wash so i feel like it's a little bit more muted oh, i like the muted color because then it's not too much um and a little bit more modern i really like the buttons the buttons like right on the side are functional so i can always make it smaller if i wanted to it's really really cute the buttons on the front are like these pockets Kind of whack, kind of different, right? But I don't know, I'm really into this jacket. Okay, I was looking around a little more and then I saw this top. I thought it was so cute. The color is really cute. This is kind of like printed on, not embroidered, but it's printed on. It's a little pocket tee. It's slightly cropped, which is kind of cool, so it's not completely showing my stomach, but I just thought it was so darling. Oh my god, it's really cute. I kind of want it, but it's a little. A little expensive for really like just a con tea but mm. and then I got this um plain just like t-shirt it's a bodysuit though because I've been kind of looking for just like plain ones like this just like to wear under things instead of wearing a tank top but this one's a little thin like you can see my skin kind of thing in person so like just like the distinction between like my bra and here so i feel like it's a little too thin even though it's only a couple of dollars so i'm gonna pass on this one too okay i'm in tj maxx i picked up this top it's like a floral wrap blouse thing it's kind of cute i just don't really think it's my style but i just picked it up to see if i could use it for maybe hawaiian shirt fridays it doesn't completely fit the vibe, but I feel like it's similar. I picked up this one just for fun, and also this one, but this one ended up too big, so I didn't vlog it, but this one I just picked it up because I thought it was a really nice color. Like, it's a nice blue, like, muted kind of, like, color. Um, I just don't think it's my style, so. And I, like, even picked it up, even though it had, like, this tie thing, and I don't usually like shirts with this, but... I just like the color. If I could find a shirt in this color that's not this style, maybe I would wear it. This thing I picked up to try was this yellow bodysuit. It's like a tank top. I thought these buttons are really cool. Nice little detail. Um, it fits pretty well. I like it. I like the ribbing. I like the color. The only thing is this thing in the middle. Like It's just like two halves came together. It looks really awkward. So I'm gonna pass. But. Everything else is really, really cute. I ordered a lavender with vanilla foam milk tea. It looks so pretty, guys. It's gorgeous. Look at this. And then at the top, like, ugh. Can I put this? Okay. At the top, it has like a little lavender thing. It's so cute. I really like it. It looks pretty, but I haven't tried it yet, so. I didn't get boba, so I just wanted the tea. It honestly just tastes like tea. Like, there's not a whole lot of lavender. It tastes kind of like just herbal tea. It's not bad. I kind of like it. Because then it's like... It honestly it reminds me a little bit like chai tea. Which I like because then it's not... I was afraid that it would be super, super fly. Let me see if I can get some vanilla foam. The vanilla foam is so good. It's like... The vanilla foam is like a perfect amount of sweet. This is good. Okay, I'm in Goodwill now. This is the first top I'm trying on. I just thought it was like a really cute like print. It's kind of subtle but like still like aggressively floral. 
Um, the color is really nice. I just thought it was a cute little slightly cropped little baby top. I think it's kind of cute. Still trying to find like a Hawaiian tee, so this is something that I put on to try it. I think it's cute. The print is cute. The color is cute. I just think like one, it makes my shoulders look humongous. Oh my goodness. And so I just feel like it's not something that I would wear. Taken. It's not something that I would wear. So no. Shirt I picked up um, to maybe wear to like my internship. I think it like it's a really good fit. The material feels really nice. The color is like this deep red kind of color. I think it's like business casual enough, like with the right pants, it'll work. It feels pretty good. So I'm thinking a yes for this one. This one I picked up because it's just like a plain white tee. I figured it was a good basic to have. It's really soft. Um, I wish it was a little bit more fitted, but honestly, I feel like this is a pretty good enough fit. So, I mean, like, it looks really good with these shorts. So, I feel like it's just a nice, like, plain tee to have that's nice and fitted. Okay, going along with that, like, Hawaiian tee shirt trying to find thing, I picked up this one. I feel like I look like a dad. <laughs> So I think it's a no. I kind of like the pattern though. I like the color. It's just, it's not doing it for me. I picked up this one because I figured it's like a good basic to have, just like flannel. I really like the color of it. It's kind of like this really like deep dark teal color with some like yellow and white in it. It's just like, it's a little small and I'd rather have my flannels be a little bit bigger so it can be like a layering piece. I think it's an extra small. So it feels like small on me and I just want it to be bigger, but I just really like the print. So it's just too small. So that's a no. This one I was thinking to get for my internship too. I'm kind of conflicted on it. I kind of like the color. The fit is kind of nice. There's a tiny little stain, but you can barely see it, like, right there. I think it's just, like, the pockets are throwing me off, so I might not get it. Hi, guys. I am back now. Um, I'm just going to, like, do a recap of what I bought from Goodwill. I only bought that, like, wine red color to use for my internship. It was $7. And then... From Ross, I got that cropped Levi's denim jacket, and that's about it. I literally cannot believe I've been out for like hours into like three different stores, and I only bought two things. Outfit of the day, wearing some jean shorts, this halter neck blue striped crop top, and yeah. I made oven baked chicken again. I just use garlic pepper, salt pepper, garlic powder, I meant, and oregano and thyme. This time it didn't have any skin on it, and I didn't notice until like today, but it still turned out pretty good. Right now I'm just like munching on the bones that are left behind and eating it with some bread for lunch.